I'm a very linear, sequential learner, um, but I also recognize that there are learners out there who are much more visually oriented. Um, and so I always like to include a bird's eye view of my course just to give you an idea of where we're going um, for the semester in terms of topics and the deliverables that are expected from you. So if we take a look um, at our first week here in our course, um, you're in the orientation right now. Um, and the tool that you're being exposed to is learning management system. So you're getting the chance from a student lens to experience Blackboard course sites. And a little later you'll get an, a chance if you want to experiment with some other learning management systems as well. But you'll see again um, in our course, it's structured in three parts, explore, learn, connect, collaborate, and experiment, apply. So under explore, learn for this first week, you have um, the action items to print your course documents, such as the syllabus and the course map and the course outline, um, to review the soft talk lesson, to watch the video uh, orientation videos, which you're doing right now, and to complete a student pre-course survey. And then under connect, collaborate, um, to set up your Google account, share your GDoc with your team lead, and post an introduction discussion on the virtual bulletin board. And then finally, under experiment and apply, to take a self-assessment quiz and to complete your week one reflection. So that's week one. Um, week two is gonna be similar, but you have a few additional requirements. So our topic in week two will be understanding ed tech trends and issues, and the tools that you'll be exposed to during that week are online collaboration and communication tools. So you'll have the soft talk lesson um, under the explore learn part, but you'll also have a, um, an option to watch a live broadcast of myself and your team leads, present and answer questions that you posed, or um, demonstrate tools that you're interested in during a live broadcast. Um, the Connect Collaborate part, you're going to have, starting in week two, a key point contribution. So you're going to be part of a group of four to five students, and each of you will contribute a key point um, to a Google document and comment on um, someone else's key point. Um, you will set up um, your Google Plus account so that you can um, add your discussion to the Google Plus community page, and you're going to have instructions for all of this when we get to it. But week two is where we really add in the social um, connection pieces. So the, the Google community page and the Twitter requirements are designed for you to be able to connect with your team and to connect with your class. And then the experiment apply section is where you'll um, experiment with um, online collaboration and communication tools. You'll take a self-assessment quiz and you'll complete your week two reflection. So we kind of repeat that same exact process for week three um, when our topic is designing and developing instruction with technology. Um, the tool that week is resource and content curation. And we'll go through that same process of deliverables um, for week three. In week four, we're going to look at teaching um, information literacy and digital citizenship, and you'll get to experiment with some various websites and apps for teaching and learning, um, and your deliverables will be the exact same. And finally, in week five, we're going to look at spurring change as teacher leaders, and you'll get a chance to experiment with some multimedia tools. Um, and the format is the same with the exception of a post-course survey that you have during week five. So that is the bird's eye view of the course, and I hope that it's helpful for you in seeing sort of the big picture of what we're doing in this course.